Hoyo Wu loves paper cutting. It's called a dragon bolt racing. And she is passionate about promoting this ancient art form. The first, the earliest paper cutting was found in China 1,500 years ago. On this Saturday, Wu has been demonstrating the art for hours at a busy shopping mall outside Washington. I really like it. I get so much fun um, and peace doing it. So I'm just hoping that more people will learn about this um, art that's kind of dying and enjoy it like I do. Wu first turned paper into art when she was 14 in her hometown in southeast China. It was actually a mandatory art class for everybody, but I just found a special passion for it. So my teacher, um, she was willing to give me extra tutoring after class to, to train me in paper cutting. Later, she won second prize in a national painting and calligraphy competition. Paper is the easiest material that you can find. You can just turn it into a beautiful, intricate art. I, I think it's, it's like magic to me. Wu came to the U.S. in 2008 after graduating from college and quickly became actively involved in promoting Chinese paper cutting. She has been invited to demonstrate the art at various events and at well-known national museums like the Freer and Sackler Gallery in Washington. I saw so many people coming to me and asking me they were amazed. I think that it's important to promote the art form to American people or anyone who's interested. And then um, maybe it will lead to another thriving of this art form back in China. Wu says paper cutting represents Chinese cultural values, reflecting history and the stories of people's lives. She uses the art as a tool to introduce Chinese culture. People, when they see it, they ask, what's the story behind this? And that's when the opportunity knocks, when, when you can actually explain to them. For example, what is the Chinese um, Lantern Festival? Wu's art was exhibited around her as she demonstrated her technique, and it encouraged shoppers like Anne Russ to stay for a hands-on workshop. I would like to know about Chinese art specifically. It's very delicate and I, I like the focus that it requires. It just takes me out of everything when you have to concentrate on something very closely. It's almost relaxing to put that much effort into it. It's amazing how Chinese art can resonate, can echo with, with people from other cultural backgrounds. Wu hopes paper cutting will bring people joy and knowledge of a different culture and will eventually become a popular art form in her adopted culture. For producer June So, Amy Katz, BOA News.